The next part of the uh, Alenco Digital Analog Trainer we'd like to talk about is the waveform generation stage. The waveform generation is done up on the top half. You can see the knobs waveform, course frequency, fine adjustment, amplitude, and DC offset. Those are all the controls. And there's two outputs, the clock output and the frequency output. So let's have a look at those with our oscilloscope. We'll start with the clock output. When you connect into the clock output, you can see a square wave going from zero volts to five volts. And the frequency is adjustable using the fine adjusts and the course adjust where you can go from 10K to 100K, 1K, 100 or 10 Hertz. Lots of adjustments. The amplitude and the DC offset don't have any effect on the clock. This is meant to be used as a digital square wave for TTL or CMOS uh, devices. You also have a frequency output. We'll just move over to that. And the frequency output, um, we can choose from the waveform a square wave, which you can see right here, where I can adjust the amplitude of the square wave and the frequency of the square wave. You can set this to triangle, where you can again adjust the amplitude of the triangle, the frequency and the offset. You can move the triangle up and down. Or a sine wave, amplitude, frequency, and DC offset. And of course, you can adjust the, using the course frequency adjustment, you can bring the frequency up or down by an order of magnitude. And that's the function generator and square wave generator component of the Alenco trainer.